Alessandra Westgate, a British military subaltern whose rank Major Harry Crosby finds difficult to say and comprehend, rooms with him during his week-long stay at Oxford, as depicted in the sixth episode of Masters of the Air. Sandra grows to be Crosby's confidant even though she never tells him about her true employment while he deals with the death of Captain Joseph Bubbles Payne, his best buddy. With the gregarious Westgate, Crosby enjoys his brief respite from Thorpe Abbotts before rejoining the 100th to resume his duties as group navigator. Major Harry Crosby's plot in Masters of the Air Episode 6 included a little but humorous element with his unable to pronounce the word, subaltern. Crosby keeps mispronouncing the name of his roommate, subaltern Westgate, even after the man welcoming him to Oxford mentions it. This leads to an awkward yet humorous exchange between the two men. When Crosby eventually gets to meet Sandra later on, he picks up the proper pronunciation of the word. But Masters of the Air does a terrible job of explaining what a subaltern is and did throughout World War II. A subaltern is a rank beneath that of a captain in the British Army and Masters of the Air. Thus, delving into Sandra's rank doesn't reveal much about the nature of her unidentified profession. But given how abruptly she had to leave Oxford at the end of episode 6, it's probably safe to assume that her job is important enough and that she contributes significantly to it. It seems unclear that Sandra will be revisited in Masters of the Air's final three episodes, therefore further information regarding her role is unlikely to be provided. In Masters of the Air, is Sandra Westgate a spy? In Episode 7, Sandra's mystery profession becomes increasingly apparent, despite her portrayal as Crosby's confidant and support system. Sandra won't answer Crosby's question about where she has been. In addition, the preview for the eighth episode of Masters of the Air features Sandra in perilous situations alongside German officers. All of this suggests that Sandra might be working as a British government spy. This reality wouldn't be that strange. Many women served in the special operations executives during World War II, and it would also explain her secrecy in Masters of the Air. I hope the video is enjoyable. Thanks for watching.